So Greg, welcome to Morecambe Football Club. You're the new head of recruitment. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, really pleased. Um, you know, I, I've been in the club now and had a really good welcome. You know, it's a really friendly club, a really tight knit club. You can see that straight away. Um, everyone knows each other. Everyone tries to help each other, uh, and it's got a really good feel about it. Um, so yeah, really pleased. You started the role at the beginning of June. Um, how did the opportunity come about for you? I've known Derek for many years. Obviously, we, we played together at Motherwell, played together at Livingston, um, and I worked for him for three and a half years at um, Plymouth as well, where we had some some good success. So yeah, um, the role came available, and myself and Derek uh, sat down and had a, a good conversation, um, and pretty much started work straight away. Um, and I know it's going to be a busy summer. It has been a busy summer already, um, so it was important that we got to work really quick. Uh, can you give us an insight into what a head of recruitment role consists of, what your main roles and responsibilities are, etc.? Yeah, in terms of I need to know playing style from the club, how the manager wants to play, which, like I said, working with him before helps. Um, play characteristics in each position of what the manager expects from each position, um, from each player playing in that position I'll put forward. And then my job is to match players for them positions, for that system, who suit what the manager wants to do. Um, alongside that, obviously, it's not just as simple as that. So I need to then go out to games, to evidence base what, what I'm going to put forward so I can back it up with reports. This player can do X, Y and Z is what you're looking to do. And then the, the most important thing of all is, are they available and are they affordable? You know, and put them in the melting pot as well. So yeah, my, my job is really to be ready for all situations and all whatever may be an injury in any position and have lists ready of players for backups or ones better than the ones that we've got to come in and push us to the next level. I think it was 17 clubs that you represented as a player. Uh, from the contacts you made as a player, how, he, how easy does that make your job now? Yeah, I've said this before to be fair, it's, it's like my, my playing career sort of prepared me for my life away from football after football. Um, because I think it's probably 17 clubs is, is, a, is a big number obviously. A lot of them were loans, you know, here, there and everywhere. But what I've found along the way is a lot of the people who I either played with, played against, shared changing rooms with, are now in coaching positions, managing positions, agents, all still involved in the game. So I couldn't have prepared in any better way really. I know there's a lot of courses you can go on and there's a lot of um, a lot of research you can do in terms of being in this role and head of recruitment, but ultimately, them contacts, you can't go on courses to get them. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm sort of grateful for my journeyman career as it would be. Uh, you did spend time as a player manager at Real as well. And um, how do you reflect on that time and what made you decide to go down this route rather than managing? Yeah, I did. I did six years as a as a manager um, and had relative success as well. Um, really enjoyed it you know it was when I was just finishing playing so I did play a manager and then went into being a manager um, and like I said really really enjoyed my time and sometimes sometimes things happen for a reason and I came to the end of my time there I was out of contract looking at what I was going to do next did I stay and did I want to stay as a manager or a coach or look at something else and I was fortunate that Derek got the Plymouth job at the time literally within not much time and offered me the chance to go there and be um, chief scout, head of recruitment there. So I had to learn, and I had to learn quick on my feet, because it wasn't something I'd done before. Uh, but as I started doing it, really enjoyed it. Enjoyed learning about l the players in each league, and uh, had to put in a lot of hard yards, you know, to cover a lot of ground, because I was coming from the Welsh League into League Two at that time. Didn't really have my eye on League Two at that time as well. So I had to learn really quickly. Um, so yeah, once I got into the role, really enjoyed it, um, and that's been me now for the last seven years or so. Uh, so for you personally, do you have a specific approach when it comes to signing a player? It's not about me, it's, it's really not, it's about me sort of dissecting and diluting what, what the manager wants and presenting the manager with something that is going to make the team better you know, that fits his philosophy, his style of play and his characteristics. 
So it's about I'm there to present options that suit him. It's not about me. It's really not. So you mentioned your, your previous working relationships with Derek Adams as a as a player and later on as well. How much did this play a part in you joining the football club? Yes, it did because obviously we know each other and we could hit the ground running. You know because we built teams at Plymouth that were successful. You know we we reached a playoff final in our first year. We got promoted automatically in the second year um, and I think we just finished just out of the playoffs in League One in the third year so we had good success building teams but not just building teams building players and building their careers as well you know there were so many success stories along the way Sonny Bradley um, Ruben Lamirez, Freddie Ladapu you know players who we picked up on free transfers brought them into the building made them better and they've gone on to have really good careers so the experiences that you gained at Plymouth Argyle and, and most recently Salford City as well, um, how have they shaped you in your job role today? I th it's the old saying that every day is a learning day. So I, I, in both of them clubs, I've learned an awful lot. You know, I've got. I'd like to feel I've got better um, in each one. You know, in how I do my job, um, in how I present the information, and in actually my own knowledge as well. Um, so yeah. I feel I'm in a, a decent position because I've seven years down the line. Um, you've really hit the ground running uh, with three signings already in Donald Lowe, Max, Melbo, uh, Max Melbourne sorry, and Faz. Um, just give us a bit of an insight to what attracted you to those players. Yeah, well, like I say, you strip it back and you go back to the, the characteristics and the style of play. Um, now, Donald, obviously Donald's come through Manchester United, got a good move to Sunderland. I've watched Donald play a lot in League One when he was at Shrewsbury. Always thought he was an excellent right back. Always thought he's got all the tools in League One in terms of energy, competitiveness and quality to go and have a really good career. Um, we took him to Salford last year, ended up playing a lot of different positions, which is another strength of his. He's very versatile, so he can play different positions, but didn't play as much in his position as probably he could have or could have done so yeah he fits exactly what Derek was looking for someone who can get up and down on the right hand side be competitive knows the league and again comes down to age he's good age 27 so there is still development in him he can still get better um, on to Max Max is a player I've liked for a, for a long long time um, you know when you're looking to build a sort of left back someone who can play left back and cover as a left side centre back he ticks a lot of boxes, you know, he's six foot one, he's athletic, he can run, he's technically sound. Um, played quite a bit last year as a centre back uh, for Lincoln, uh, but I think we see him playing both as that and as a, as a left back. He's got energy and he's got quality and at his age, I think when you search around the leagues and you're looking at people with potential, you know, he's got really good potential still, really, really good potential. Uh, moving into Faz, I mean Faz is he is what you see. You know he's a he's a big dominant character. Uh, at 25, with over 200 league appearances, I think that's a great position to be in. You know, hopefully he's he, he's learned his trade. He's he's made some mistakes. Uh, he's played in the championship already. Um, played at a good level, and he is one who we feel that we're getting at a really good time. We're getting at a good time who. He's another ambitious boy, and I think the the thing that fits with all three of these boys, they're all very ambitious still. You know, Faz wants to play as high as he possibly can. He's played in the championship. He wants to get back there. The only way he'll do it is by being successful on the pitch with us. So we're hopeful with himself and Donald and Max that they can all achieve the potential with us. Uh, and finally, obviously another tough scout at League One season ahead. Um, recruitment for any club in this position is key. Uh, so, what are your plans between now and uh, the transfer window closing? We've got, a, we've still got a fair bit of work to do. You know, we have got, we've got some offers in at some clubs for potential loans, which we're excited about. You know, they could be really, really good additions for us. Um, but I think the market's been quite slow at this moment in time. You know, but when it comes into next week and clubs start back, players start getting on the training ground and you've got players sitting at home who haven't got a club, that changes mindset. And also when players are into clubs and they see that the new signings are in, that changes as well and players become available. So we're working tirelessly every day, you know, speaking with agents, going through lists, compiling lists, um, 
so yeah, we're, we're confident, but there's a lot of hard work to do.